Welcome to Coffee and Tools this week. So I have 24 of these uh, coffee cans that have different things in them and I found this little shelf at Goodwill for a couple dollars but it's gonna have to be modified or something because right now it only hold uh, three, six, nine, it only held 12 and I need to hold 24 but I bought this because I noticed it has doweling and doweling sometimes can be pretty easy to extend but we're gonna do this a little bit different out of the box but we're gonna extend it and make it hold 24 of these crazy coffee cans. These are handy. Just, I got like rivets on this one here. Just don't write miscellaneous. That'll, that won't fly. So let's see what we're gonna do. So the first thing we're gonna do is, uh, I guess we'll just saw this thing in half because I'm gonna extend these and also get these little indexy things out of here. So, you know, again, like I said, this is only a couple dollars and we'll cut her up and we're going to make it wide enough to hold all my uh, coffee cans. So let's get started. two pieces <laughs> okay so we're gonna get rid of the indexes we don't need these I think we'll save these for uh, projects so they're kind of cool so maybe we can use them for something else so the first thing I did was I measured the doweling it's uh, three quarters of an inch doweling on all of this this one here is a little loose it actually could be glued in yeah hmm. interesting probably the only one too that's loose so all the doweling is tight except that one piece. So we'll just throw a little glue on there while we're in all, into all this. And so now I've got two pieces. Cool. And three quarter inch ID. Oh, there's another loose one, right? Yep, same thing right there. Yeah. Uh, rather than buying doweling, because look at all the pieces of doweling you'd need to make a wider uh, unit. I'm thinking just slide pipe over these that's wider and that will give me the size I need, which in this case will be eight, uh, let's see, it was 18 inches for three cans. So 36 inches should give me six cans uh, per shelf. So we're gonna cut the pipe for this after I put some glue on these two pieces of doweling here. Everything else seems to be, yep, oh, that was nice glue. No, oh, tight, 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 tight. So there's a couple here that need gluing actually, wow. Okay, we'll get the glue on her. Uh -huh. Okay, so a little bit of glue to make this a permanent job. Yeah, on the back side, and just kind of wet it down with some glue and stop her back in the hole. Yeah. There we go. And this one here seemed kind of loose too, so yeah. Looks like somebody's glued it before in the past, so I'm just gonna throw some more glue on because this is really eh, not that important as far as what I'm gonna do, I guess. I don't know, we'll see. <clears throat> so here's what I'm talking about. Uh, I want to be able to probably have six across on each one. So what I did was I just lined them up like this and just measured across like this and uh, that's 18 inches and actually a little low, a little over. So what I think we'll do is we'll add to this. So instead of saying like to make 36 inch uh, pipe, I think we're going to go 37 and that way we'll have an extra inch to spare. And because I need uh, three per shelf, uh, one 10 foot piece of pipe cut up with let's say 37 inches will leave very little scrap that will give me the pipe to extend across and you'll see what, uh, we'll, well, we'll see how that turns out. But uh, yeah, the 30, the 18 is uh, yeah, a little tight, so 37 should get it. We could even go up to 38, I believe. 
but uh, let's go 37. So, so what I did was I ran over to the big box store and bought some three quarter inch electrical conduit pipes, about three bucks a stick or whatever. I got uh, four sticks, which will give me uh, actually one stick per shelf is basically what I'm looking at. So now all I got to do is measure the you know, measure the 37 inches uh, and uh, make a mark with it. In this case, I'm going to just use a sharpie because it's kind of a as long as all the pipe are about the same length, I guess we'll have what we want. Let's uh, let's start with that. Now, the reason I don't mark 37, take a mark 37, is because every time this blade cuts, I'm going to lose an eighth of an inch. And over two or three cuts, that starts to add up into like three eighths of an inch or something. You start to lose dimension. You don't want to do that. I want all to be pretty much exactly 37 inches. So that's why I'm, I'm just taking my time. And I'm going to do the same on each one. So we'll start with this first one. Now, if you've ever cut these with, in a saw like this, you want to kind of go slow. Don't don't rush the job because it uh, you won't like it. Plastic can fly all over the place. Now that saw could go through that a lot faster than that, but I'm I'm just not going to do it. Okay, so yeah. There we go. So there's our 37. Oh, we've cut the pipe, the first length of it, 37 inches. And now I'll just use this as a reference for the rest of my cuts. Because like I said, this takes an eighth of an inch. So if you measure to an accurate degree off of an old, you know, before you actually cut, you can end up wrong. You, you'll just, you'll have it wrong. So this way, it won't have it wrong. It'll just be the same as the other pipe. Cut. Next. Same thing. Uh, let's see if you can see that. Good. And again, just sort of line it up. And, cut. and we'll even keep this because uh, down the road I might use it for, you know, you don't know what you'll need it for. I'm sure it'll be handy for something. But there's, there's the first new shelf. And all we got to do that is just do that four times. And we got it. <laughs> yeah, four times. Okay, so there we go. We've got uh, all our pipe cut up to 37 inch long, three quarter inch ID. It's an electrical conduit, of course, from uh, one of the big box stores. And let's, let's see how all this uh, comes together. I think we'll probably have to glue the ends on these, but we'll have to see. Uh, a little bit of glue on there will probably, you know, lock it up kind of thing. Let's find out. Actually, what I'm going to do is lay it down this way. And see if we can start these three quarter pieces of pipe over. This is uh, this is like Elon Musk's uh, starship. You know, you, you don't know. I don't know if it'll work, but it actually it's very stiff, very solid, and I think that works without any any more glue. Yeah, and I've got uh, yeah almost an inch to spare, but I would rather have that little bit of you know. I guess playroom right in there. In case Maxwell House ever changes the size of their coffee cans. <laughs> this is this is the uh, this is it. <laughs> but look at the the cost. A uh, couple dollars for the rack, uh, about twelve dollars worth of pipe. And there's other uh, cheaper pipe you can get like. I could have bought the white pipe over in the plumbing section probably. Again, with the three-quarter ID, it's just going to fit the fit it anyways. So, let's see how we do. And she seems to be uh, quite stiff, so she's not having any trouble holding the weight. I'll be able to get all my jars of stuff up here. 
This is what we call an old DVD or CD uh, shelf player or unit. So they, you can pick them up at yard sales for a couple bucks. Um, I've seen them at this one here. It specifically came from Goodwill, actually. But you can get them uh, just all over the place. And if you have to think about it, there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of tools and a lot of places you can go to where you can pick this sort of thing up and you know people are basically just throwing them away because what's the point of having them you know now <clears throat> I've got to find I guess two more two more jars and she's a full she's full but how simple is that that's and that gives me all that extra cleans up my space in my shop so now I actually have two cupboards open where I can store larger things than this such as my router, uh, I've got an extra commercial router, stuff like that, I can put all that in there. So, it, you know, I gain some space and I've got this nicely organized, just gotta write proper names on any lids or whatever if I decide to make some changes in the future, or I'm gonna have to buy some more Maxwell House coffee.